Today I'm going to show you guys how to camp with just $100, the Walmart edition. What is up everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Before we get into this, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching the recent videos, van camping, truck camping, all these videos I love to make and I read every single comment. I don't always have the chance to reply to all of them, but I do read every single one, including the criticism, and that's kind of what we're talking about today. Occasionally I will get some comments saying things like, oh dude, when you're camping in your van, that's not even camping. You have all this gear in your truck and all of these amenities, that's not even camping. If we check out the true definition of camping from two different sources here, you can pause and read those if you feel like it. I would say that it's kind of debatable. As long as you're outside enjoying the outdoors, spending the night, mini little vacation, getaway from reality, I would say it counts as camping no matter how you're doing it. I also get a few comments saying things like, hey man, this is great, you're inspiring me to get outside, but I can't afford all of that gear. I can't afford a hooked up vehicle, rooftop tents, I can't afford to actually do a lot of this stuff. And I hear you, I get it, it's super expensive. I put a lot of money into the things that I'm into, hence the truck and the van and all of the camping gear and stuff that you guys see throughout my videos. So today I decided to take both of those criticisms, too expensive and this isn't really camping, and combine them into one. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to camp with just $100, the Walmart edition. So I of course got this idea from reading all of your comments. And I decided to first find a camp spot that I can get to with just two wheel drive. I was in two wheel in the truck the whole time. I would say almost any vehicle can get up to this spot where I'm at right now. I'm on national forest land where it is free to camp. And speaking of being free to camp, I'm gonna kind of talk about all of the prices for everything that I picked up from Walmart. First up on the list, while not a complete necessity, I think having a camp chair is gonna be nice. So right here, I picked up an Ozark Trail camp chair for $5.98. Now I haven't actually took any of this gear out of the packaging. I haven't tested any of it, which I tend to do before camp trips, especially when it's gear that you kind of rely on. Ozark Trail is kind of a brand name, Walmart brand name, and surprisingly I've bought Ozark Trail stuff in the past and it's honestly not that bad. So here's a little camp chair, holds 250 pounds, little drink holder gonna be the first piece of the camp. Next up is something that I kind of consider a necessity, a tent. This is supposedly a two-person tent. There's no name brand on it. It was $20.97, so don't have high hopes for this thing, but hopefully it will get me through the night. Some people would rather just like throw out a tarp and sleep on the ground, and you could do that. It would be way cheaper. So this to me is a necessity. Some people may consider it a luxury. Hopefully it's not too hard to set up. Next up, to make that tent sleeping a little bit more comfortable, we have a little sleeping pad here. This is from a brand called Kakagoo or something like that. It is $24.45. I don't think it has an included air pump or anything like that, so hopefully I can just blow this up with my lungs, which is gonna kinda suck, but we'll see how it goes. Now for some warmth. I think this one is going to be a necessity tonight. Hopefully it's not gonna get too cold. We got an Ozark Trail sleeping bag. I mentioned that I bought some of their products in the past and one of them was actually a super lightweight sleeping bag which was rated down to, I believe 32 degrees, might have been 40. So this one right here is a little bit bigger. This is a cool weather sleeping bag. Comfort level, 35 degrees. Really hope it doesn't get that cold up here tonight. Six feet, five inches long by two feet, nine inches wide. Should be able to sleep pretty comfortably in that. And now for some of the extras. In the county that I'm in, in Colorado right now, currently sitting in Pikes National Forest, I believe, there's a fire ban. So really can't have any like fire pits, which would be nice to cook over. So I'm not gonna dabble with that tonight. Instead, this is a luxury for sure. A little Coleman camp stove. This is actually very similar to the one that I use in my normal setup. I use a little gas one stove. This one right here, was even cheaper. You simply throw a little butane canister in there and you got a little cooktop. This thing's actually kind of nice. I could actually see myself using this more in the future. So with that, we will make some dinner. I did also get a pot, not this exact pot. The one that I ordered was $9.99 and it was not delivered. 
Don't know where it's at. It may show up later this week, I'm not sure, but I just brought another one to substitute from home. This is just a super cheap little pot to boil water in, to cook dinner with, and it has a little lid and a carrying case as well. And then to top it all off, I've got a little camp light here. This is also coming from Ozark Trail. This is the Tumbler Camp Lighting, 180 lumens. Didn't even check to see if this thing like had batteries or it does. Three triple A's, I think that'll come in handy tonight. So here's a look at all of the camping gear. I'm limiting myself to using only this stuff for the night. We're looking at a total of $105.32. Sorry, I went a little bit over budget, but I tried the best that I could. So 100 bucks, camping gear. Let's see if we can set this tent up. And there we have it, the $20 tent is set up. It says two person. I mean, I guess you could sleep two people in here. It's just like a tarp bottom. The only window I guess would be right here by the door. The zippers on it are really bad, as you would expect. Now the top of this thing has some mesh, but there's no way to close that up because there's no rain fly. I guess I could stake the tent to the ground. Ah, this guy right here. And boom, protected from the elements. Minus bears. There's definitely bears around here. Next up, this little sleeping pad. This is gonna be interesting because there's definitely no pump. I'm gonna start with this end and actually the main selling point. I wanted a pillow and this thing inflates a little bit more than the rest of the pad so this, will essentially act like a pillow. Oh yeah. Checking out the accommodations. Hopefully I can sit on this pad without it blowing up. Last but not least, the sleeping bag. I've lucked out on the weather so far. I think they were calling for a little bit of rain, but it doesn't seem like it is going to at this point. This combo of the sleeping pad with the sleeping bag on top of it, it's honestly pretty comfortable. I've actually thought about getting a sleeping pad for the inside of some of the rooftop tents that I test out from time to time. Just make it a little bit more comfortable and they fold flat, so I'm curious to see how this little $24 sleeping pad does tonight. So there we have the whole Walmart budget camp setup. Going from that all the way to this. The whole point of this video is to really show you guys that you can camp on a budget and it's not all about the gear and stuff that you use. It's all about the places you go. Like this right here. I should just move my tent over here to these trees right on top of a rock, get a nice view. I love it. and my campsite has moved a little bit. I decided that up in like the parking area, didn't really feel like camping, so now we're under a little bit of a pine tree. That way in case it does rain, hopefully it will give me a little bit of shelter. I think this tent's gonna do fine and the weather right now is pretty beautiful. It's about eight o'clock at night. Unfortunately, the days are starting to get a little bit shorter as we're approaching fall, but at least we can still get outside and enjoy the weather while it's still nice. Now it's time to fire up this little Coleman butane stove. Since we're camping on a budget, we are also eating on a budget. Got some cup of noodles right here. Just gonna simply boil some water. The reason I brought this is because I really didn't wanna buy like a bunch of cooking stuff because 
that would put me over the hundred dollar budget so just a bottle of water 75 cent cup of noodles now if you guys haven't seen the normal cooktop that I use when I'm out camping. This one's very similar. I use a gas one. This is a Coleman version. So I got my water in the little pot, throw the lid on. One thing that I like about this Coleman version over the gas one version is that I can actually keep the butane in here. So just close that up once it's in place, push this down to engage it. The footprint of the gas one is a little bit smaller, which I like, but I also really like that I can just kind of keep the butane in here, so. They each kind of have their own pros and cons. To turn it on, you simply turn the dial until it clicks, and now we have flame. Alright, chicken noodles should be done. Now we are ready to feast. Feast on a budget. <laughs> in reality, a lot of the food that you see me cooking in basically any of my camping videos, it's really not all that expensive. Some of the craziest stuff I'll do is just like steak and shrimp maybe. And even that, if you're just getting it from a normal grocery store, it really isn't all that expensive. Maybe this is the way to go. This could be better than steak and shrimp. Hmm. Cup of noodles from a gas station. Oh, it's getting a little chilly out. Not too bad. All right guys, it is a little after nine o'clock at night now and the moon is coming up. Looks kind of funky around here cause like the sun has been set for a little while now but you can still see the sunlight. Now the moon is coming up even brighter over here. So this little lantern is insane. <laughs> this is on the low mode right now and I have my camera set so that it like automatically adjusts. Here, let me change this a second. All right, there we go. The camera is gonna look like it's flickering a little bit, but that's just because this is LED. This thing is a good buy, actually. It was $4.44. It does take triple A's. I'm not sure how long it will last, but hopefully, at least until I go to sleep. And it has these little hooks on it too, so I should be able to hang it up inside my tent here in a second. Right now, I'm just putting away the stove top and also putting my food inside my diamond back i'm not going to count this as cheating if you are out in the wilderness and there are bears around you should always lock your food in vehicles now while i was eating my ramen i was kind of thinking about my decision of getting that little coleman cooktop it's super nice and i got it because it was relatively cheap and it's something that i'm kind of used to already i definitely could have come in well under a hundred dollars though if i found just one of those little propane tanks like you would put on a jet boil and just a little burner top but i searched on walmart's website and i could not find that so there's definitely an even cheaper way to do this with the same amount of gear too All right, so the unfortunate news about this tent is that there is no little hookup here for a lantern, which would be so cool. If I could just put this thing up there, plenty of light. This thing looks insane from the outside too, just because everything's all lit up. I guess this technically is a two-person tent because I have enough room here and then I have plenty of room over here for another sleeping bag, but tonight I'm just gonna be throwing all my gear over here. It does feel a little claustrophobic not having any windows on a tent other than the door, but hey, it was like 20 bucks. So as long as I stay relatively warm in the sleeping bag and dry in the tent, I think it'll be a win. What if we get some mood lighting? Ooh, 
That's nice. Strobe mode. And all 180 lumens. Yeah, this little lantern is definitely the best buy so far. Now, although it is fairly early, I'm camping by myself, can't have a campfire, no one else to talk to other than myself and the camera. Really don't have cell reception either. So I think I'm going to go to bed soon. The sun's gonna be rising at 6.06 .06 here tomorrow morning, which means this tent is going to be super bright very early in the morning. There's a good chance that I'll be waking up even before six o'clock because it's gonna be so bright. But hopefully with this little mattress, sleeping bag, the built-in pillow, hopefully it'll be a good night's sleep. I guess I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning. Ugh. It is a little after 6 a.m. right now. And I'm happy to report that I slept pretty good in this tent. This sleeping pad did not lose any air. This pillow I kind of like doubled over onto itself like that, so I had a little more like neck support. Slept on my back, slept on my sides. I think I even slept on my stomach there for a second. So I was kind of rolling around, but I feel like I slept pretty good. The sleeping bag was plenty warm. I was actually even a little hot at some point last night. But I wanted to sleep with my hoodie on because laying on this material, it's like plasticky kind of feeling. It would not be nice. Sleeping pad was good sleeping bag was good. This tent is not bad. There's actually not much condensation in here, but it is a little bit short. When I would kind of lay flat and like stretch my legs out, whenever the wind would blow, this would hit my head. And then down here on this end, all of these zippers here coming together in one spot, there's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight zippers. <laughs> it made noise all night, but it wasn't too bad. I would just kind of like stretch out and like put my feet on them. So it worked out. It's a little bit stuffy in here. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well guys, there you have it. $100 well spent at Walmart. Got some gear that did its job. I got a good night's sleep. Got to hang out outside in this beautiful spot. I would say some of the better items out of this whole group was probably the stove, the light, and the sleeping bag, sleeping pad combo. The tent could use some work, the chair, just a chair. But overall, I'd give this whole Walmart gear experience probably like a four out of five stars. So far, none of this gear has failed me in any way. I think the tent would be the first thing to fail, but it packed up decently and nothing was broken on it, so I should be able to get at least one more night out of that. But what it really comes down to is how you treat your gear. As long as you treat your stuff okay, then it's gonna last you a while. I bet I could probably camp maybe like 10 nights in a tent like this before it really starts to degrade and maybe break or get moldy or something, maybe rip. Doing this little challenge also really made me appreciate my setup for camping because I can get set up in my truck in about 30 seconds, whereas this took like at least 10 times as long. 
rolling up the sleeping bag, the sleeping pad, the tent, breaking all that stuff down. It takes a bunch of time. So if you like to get into a spot quickly, set up camp, and then also break stuff down and get out of there quickly, this is probably not gonna be like the camping method for you, but in the end, we're still out here about to enjoy a beautiful sunrise. Oh yeah. Give me some warmth, please. Before we leave though, let's get one last look at this view. Oh yeah. So that is going to be all for this budget camping video. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments down below. There are a bunch of other places where I could spend $100 and get camping gear like Amazon. So maybe if we get, say, a thousand likes on this video, we'll come out here and do this again, but with all products from Amazon. So that is all for today. If you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.